Welcome to the Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by Shoals Distributing and Budweiser, and by Allstate Insurance. Are you in good hands? Welcome into the Terry Bowden Show. The 10-game regular season is now in the history books, and the Lions end it on the road. Valdosta, Georgia, now 8-2 on the year, 30-23 spectacular finish, 14 unanswered in the fourth quarter by the Lions to come back and down Valdosta State, picking up the 20th all-time win against the Blazers. I'm J.D. Byers with the head coach, Terry Bowden. Uh, the good news is... We go 8-2, and two, assured uh, more than likely a spot in the playoffs. We're taping this right now before that pairings party at NCAA.com. We'll see how it all shakes out. Yeah, I think the, the fact that we're, we're, we're going somewhere, I think that's the key, the key is we're going somewhere right now. We don't care where. Just want to go make that playoffs and, and make something happen. Just like Saturday against Valdosta, the key to this game is our players found a way to make something happen. Hit adversity, got behind, uh, had a kickoff return for a touchdown. The other team scores with 40 seconds left before the halftime, but we come back in the end block a punt for a touchdown, a long drive to get ahead, then a final interception on the goal line to end the game. Boy, I was proud of these players to head on the road like that against Valdosta uh, and to play that team so well. It was just one of those team victories. Everybody, everybody, everybody deserves some praise when you have a game like that. Makes an eight-hour drive back to the show a lot nice. better after a mm -hmm. win. So the Lions are go to eight and two on the year, falling to six and four, one and three of the conference is Valdosta State. Both teams coming into this one, the storyline, playing for their playoff destiny to try to continue that season. And it looks like the Lions will keep playing. The Blazers will pack it up. First half highlights from the 30 to 23 win over VSU when we come back on the Terry Bowden Show. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by TNT Fireworks. If it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. The Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, Jim Bishop Toyota, family built, community driven. And by Shoals Distributing and Budweiser. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Terry Bowden Show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II National Championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group. Earn high profits in a short period of time selling TNT quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. Remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions. Alabama's got the best in luxury hotels and golf, and the numbers to prove it. Number one out of all 333 Marriott's for golf. The Marriott Shoals Hotel and the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail at the Shoals. Number two out of all Marriott's for spa. Marriott Shoals Hotel and Spa. Luxurious rooms with a view of the Tennessee River, plus two world-class golf courses ranked in the top 10 nationally. Call 1-800-949-4444 today to book your reservations at the Shoals. Hey everybody, I'm Randy Owen, inviting you to join me on June the 2nd, 2012 for the 25th Annual Randy Owen Celebrity Classic. We'll stay at the award-winning Marriott Shoals Hotel and Spa, and we'll play at the beautiful Robert Trent Jones Golf Course. We're going to play a lot of golf, a lot of music. And remember, all your donations are tax-deductible, and it helps the kids. Join me in the whole game for a good time and a great cause. Attention, attention, Shoals area. If your trade is worth $4,500, you can drive away in a Corolla LE for $99 per month or drive a Camry LE for $139 per month and add leather at no additional charge at Jim Bishop Toyota in Tuscumbia. Drive away in your next Toyota from the name you've trusted for over 28 years. Jim Bishop Toyota. Save time and money at JimBishopToyota.com today. Or call Jim Bishop Toyota today at 383-3611. Great people. Great selection. Great prices. Why go anywhere else? Jim Bishop Toyota. You won't be disappointed. That's a Brad Bishop guarantee. Tonight, boys, I'll be the designated driver.
The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by TNT Fireworks. If it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. The Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, Jim Bishop Toyota, family built, community driven. And by Scholes Distributing and Budweiser. Welcome back on the Terry Bowden Show. The Lions improving to 8 and 2 with a 30 to 23 win over Valdosta State on Saturday. Coach, it was one of those stadiums. They run east and west. The sun was starting to set a little bit. Uh, we had a 2 o'clock kick down in Valdosta. Sun was a factor. Yeah, pregame you had receivers couldn't see the ball looking over their shoulder with the sun, but you just wonder where it was settled down. But, uh, you know, you have to play. You don't know which side is going to have which sides facing which people. But it was a beautiful day nonetheless. As our team came out. There are our captains, Cam Wade, right there, Wes Holland on offense and Brian Thomas and Lucas Dar on defense. And we come back, kick off to their team. Uh, nice kickoff coverage right here. A good break by their people. You see a swarm of tacklers to start the game. They go deep in their playbook. They play like three different quarterbacks, a little wildcat. They show us a whole bunch of plays on the first series. Tommy Westbrook right here for the first two tackles. You'll see Tommy Westbrook making plays right there, number 51. Nice tackle again on the opening run and pass. Come back, hand off, but dead breaks it up the middle. Lucas Dar makes a come. Look at that. Great tackle, ankle tackle right there to save that run right there. Nice sack and tackle by uh, Marcus Dowden caused the fumble, but they recover it. Nonetheless, they punt, punt us down. Right now, you'll see the catch. There's Janoris Jenkins, though they down the ball. Don't quite get it as it goes into the end zone. We'll start on the 20. UNA's first offensive series are running backs. You see three of them run well. Wes Holland there, Chris Coffey, also Antoine Ivey. And, then, and there's Daniel Allman right there at uh, 18 yards. He had to replace Bo Milam, who's out for the rest of the year. And Daniel did a great job as his backup. And Tuma, he catches another one right there for nine yards. Two in a row. Then we come back and Antoine Ivey for six yards. What great to have him back. Had about 70 yards for the day. Then Lee Chapel right there. Beautiful throw there on third down. We had a big play down to their 25. We dropped the ball, forced us to punt right there. What a big play that was early, darn it. We could have had a good drive opening, but that's the way it goes. We get down and we down the ball on the five-yard line. Nine play drive stalls, a good punt, but we let them out of the hole. Well, there's a tackle by Westbrook again, but boy, they made a play there. Another fumble. They recovered three fumbles. They recovered them all. Nice hit there by Matafa and Bird. They'll come back with a pass that's incomplete right here. He gets hit pretty hard, forces them to punt the football now. They are scared of Janoris Jenkins. This is a rugby punt trying to keep it away from number one. It goes way out of bounds. They mark it up at the 40. Well, they will get field position. Anytime you're afraid to punt, well, watch this pass to Cam Wade. We start on the 40. Now we're on their 31, 30, 29-yard line on one play right there as we throw down. Come back with five hard, tough yards by Wes Holland. All of our runs, five to 12 yards. Nothing 20, 30, 40, but we run hard. Holland again for six yards there. Gets us down. Now you'll see Ivy come back for eight yards right there. Now all of a sudden right there, we're inside the 10-yard line. Here we go. See one receiver, throw the other receiver. There's Jason Smith. He's the second receiver. Makes the read, makes the adjustment. Touchdown, 7 to nothing. We take the lead. Nice drive. We're a team that doesn't. We don't get as many big plays. We have to consistently run and throw the football. Ensuing kick now is going to be fielded inside the five. We just had a nine-play, 60-yard drive. Yep. Watch the run back. Short lead, short lead. Nobody touched. There's a missed miss tackle right there. Pretty much an open side on the left side. He goes the entire distance. Boy, I tell you, that's deflating. Deflating. You work your way and drive all the way. They return a kickoff one play for a touchdown again. That was one of those negatives we had, but we come right back, but you shut, shut them down. Janoris Jenkins blocks the extra point. Darnell Jackson, the entire length of the field for the two point uh, after touchdown conversion for us. So instead of them being up, you know, uh, 10 to set to seven, I mean, up, up, to, uh, tied, tied, tied up. We're up nine to seven. Three point swing there as the Lions return it for two. Here's their kick and we're going to get a return. A good one by Tristan Purifoy. He's done a good job. They kick away from Janoris Jenkins and Purifor makes the nice return up to near midfield right there. Trade a few interceptions. We're going to pick up some coverage now with Valdosta State on offense. Yeah, they got to ride the ball back. A couple interceptions right there, and boom, they come back, get a score right there. And now we're down 13 to 9 right now uh, in the second quarter, and they kick back to us. Purifoy is going to bring it back 29 yards. The Lions will set up first and 10 from the 37. Tristan Purifoy has got some speed on kickoff returns and riding a return guy out of, uh, out of bounds. He catches a few passes for us here. Here's Purifoy right now. You'll see him catch several passes in this drive. There's for plus 12. Comes back with the same pass, but he makes this one for 24 yards. Nice job making the first guy miss. Two quick plays. Then Daniel Allman comes back. Quarterback reads tight. Look at that tight throw right there in the middle of people, but Wes Hall will run down the sideline. We caught him blitzing on the other side. He comes down the sideline all the way down 
to the one yard line. Nice drive. This is about with minutes before halftime, and we stick into the end zone now to get that ball back in our favor. 16 to 13, 46 seconds left. They've already had a touchdown on a kickoff return. They've got 46 seconds left. And you know you don't want to give up points before you go in on the end of the end of the halftime. Want to get that squib kick past the first up back. That's right. But instead, he takes it. They have good field position to start. They only use 37 seconds on the drive here just before the half. Well, they could big the big long run on first down. That they got the drive. There's the scramble that really got them in our territory. Quarterback makes a nice scramble. He's already down to our 34 yard line. You'll see him scramble here. Sit. Wait. 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 Those a pace. Entire right down behind our secondary. I just can't let that happen. So there with two seconds left, it's 20 to 16. It's not over yet. The score, the score is over, but watch this kickoff return. They did everything but score. You know, Horst Jenkins to the right runs for about 40 yards this way. He'll get 40 yards sideways the other way. See a lot of crowd over there decide to come back. Now let's go up the middle. Works up the middle, makes two guys miss there, works back to the right. Now he's got speed to outrun most people on the field. He's got a one blocker, got two defenders. They've got him pushed in. No time left, long time ago. Five-yard line with about minus 15 seconds left. You can't touch Janoris Jenkins in a telephone booth. He's no. that elusive. Uh, well, it was, so a, it was a great play. It was an exciting play. It didn't change the game, change anything. Two seconds left. He ran for about 30 seconds past the two seconds. But still, we go in. That's a positive play. You know, they came back and scored with 46 seconds left. Really is the worst thing you want to happen before a halftime. But that play came back, gave us a little confidence. And we knew we had not been stopped much on offense. And remember, they scored on a kickoff return. They scored on that last play before halftime. Other than that, defense is playing pretty well. We've got to come out now knowing we're in a dogfight and it's for the playoffs. At the half, we trail 20 to 16. Blazers without a field goal in the third. The Lions, a big, big fourth quarter. You want to see how this one ends. Plus, Marcus Doughton, he goes off on defense. All that coming up as the Terry Bowden Show continues after this. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by Allstate Insurance. Are you in good hands? Brinks Apartments, CBNS Bank, banking the way it should be. And by the Alabama Sheriff's Youth Ranch. Library books, brown bag lunches, dinner at home. Frugality is back, but it's not all bad. Some of us are actually enjoying the hunt for new ways to save. Here's one, drive safely. When you don't have car accidents, you cost less to insure. Allstate will gladly pass those savings back to you. In tough times, every penny counts. That's Allstate stand. For a fast and free quote or to refer a friend, call the Bill Goff Allstate Agency at 256-765-2200. One, two, and three bedroom rental units in Shoals are affordable when you rent from a family owned business that's been around since 1959. Brinks Apartments started three generations ago and now features more than 500 units across 20 locations, providing comfortable, affordable, and convenient living. Check out Oak Ridge, less than a mile from the UNA campus. Enjoy personal parking and lounge by the pool at Stonebrook Apartments on Cox Boulevard. Brink Apartments, family owned since 1959. When I go to see my bank, they know me by name. I go to a place with banking the way it should be. My bank has convenience and great service. I love that it's a community bank. My bank says yes to lending. Our bank is CB&S Bank. <clears throat> it's banking the way it should be. I'm Nick Rocchio, and I'm the CEO of the Alabama Sheriff's Youth Ranches. When you look at our children, we want you to see a normal child. Uh, the abuse, the neglect, the abandonment should not be visible. Uh, the emotional scars that they carry with them through their lives are there. Uh, our goal is to teach them to live with those scars. It's easier to build boys and girls than to prepare men and women. We're the Alabama Sheriff's Youth Ranches, and this is what we do. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by Allstate Insurance. Are you in good hands? Brinks Apartments, CBNS Bank, banking the way it should be. And by the Alabama Sheriff's Youth Ranch. At the half against Valdosta State, the Lions trail 2016. We're going to get the ball back right now, and some things haven't gone our way, but what would you tell them at the break? Well, just remember, it's, a, it's 30 more minutes. We're only down seven points, so we've got to be ready to play in this football game. I'm going to start down four points, and so ready to go. Keep everybody focused. Believe it, you can have it. And the kid, the kid's real excited. They still believe they're going to win this game. Tristan Purifoy is going to get us out near the 30-yard line as we roll the second half highlights. Valdosta State kicking right to left. The Lions again trailing 20-16 to 16, the final two quarters for North Alabama trying to get to the playoffs. Our postseason destiny on the line here. Well, get the ball right now. We're just about to the 30-yard line. We start back. 
A little bit high on that throw right there. We have him open just a little bit high, but we come back and run the football. Avi for 11 yards for the first down. Nice job. Then he'll come back to Pure 4. You'll see over here the same pretty much pass we've been throwing to him. We haven't found an area over there. We were working on him. 13 yards right there. And then comes interference. Pass for go for the deep ball. We've got him open by a step, but you can see him grab the T-shirt, thinking that he's going to grab his jersey. They hold us right there to a punt. But we've got field position changed right here, which is awful nice now because we're down by four points. And... Uh, we're trying to find a way to get something going. We got them backed up. But you know they get that big running play right there. Not Lucas Dar on the tackle right there, but they get a big run right there. And you hate to see that because it pulls them out of the hole. There's but a fumble. They did this three times. Valdosta State did. It always bounced, bounced their way. They recovered right to their all arms. Over. Right to their arms. There's a quarterback taking a nice scramble. Incomplete, though. He could not get it. And they'll have to punt the ball to us. And there he is trying to punt away from Janoris Jenkins. And he'll punt it out of bounds. That ball will move back up instead of being inside our 20. We're on the 27-yard line. Almost got that punt. Stay tuned. We get one later. Nice run by Ivy right there. You'll see a pass to Pure for it for Dine. This one gets the first down, but the punt's the stall. We, we get the ball to midfield that it stalls. Still knowing a touchdown will put us ahead. We're not going to make any mistakes, we hope. We punt the ball down again here. It's a touchback. It goes to the end zone. We can't hold it out. They will start their drive on the 20. Schuster has a way of getting that thing inside the five, and I don't know if a good quarterback could throw it as accurately as he can inside the five. The touchback, though, and they'll start and get out of the hole. Hey, Woodson got him back there. Brian Allen right there on the tackle for loss. Did a great job down. They hurt us with that sweep in the quarter. If they'll have a series here that we have a struggle. We struggle with this series here. That play right there, the shallow cross, the drag across the middle. He fumbles the ball right back into his hands again. But they came back with play after play, and right here they've panned the ball off. Lucas Dar has to make the tackle on the play right there for about six yards. But you'll walk the quarterback. He'll fake the handoff and run the draw up the middle once. Big gainer. He falls down. Comes back. Fakes again. Right there. No, he hands off. No, he hands off. He fakes it and runs the draw again. Little zone read. Great right. defense. And he does zone. it again right here to the outside. Three times we don't hit that quarterback. And he gets the ball now to the 20-yard line. Just a drive. They, they really had us on our heels this drive. Cedric Hall on the tackle there. But they hand the ball to the back. Quarterback right around the side. We, we hit him for a loss right there. The great thing, that's a big play. All those yardage, we finally hold them, force them to the field goal. That's a seven-point difference, and that is critical. 13 plays, 71 yards. Great defenses, bend but don't break. And the Lions hold them to three. Reverse on the kickoff return. Janoris Jenkins here. Trying to find a way to get the ball in his hands on the kickoff as they kick away from him. They don't, but we're at the 38-yard line as the half return. Fourth quarter now, Cam Wade on a big catch there. Now as we go to the fourth quarter. And then we almost, we go for the big ball. Go deep. We find a play. Almond overthrows. They intercept the football. They bring it down close to tire territory. They're going to cross the 50-yard line. Almond comes back to make the tackle, but there's a mistake. They've got the ball in our territory. There's a holding. They don't call. Nice tackle. Nice hit by Cedric Hall right there as they come back after the interception. Here's the big hit. Well, I tell you, Dowd came back, hit the quarterback. Not only was it incomplete, but he hit the quarterback, and they had to take him out for the rest of the game. And that's where they have to punt the ball down to us. With that quarterback gone, they punt it down. They don't quite get it. It's about the 10-yard line. Fumbles it out of bounds right there. But we've got it on our 10, and we've got to make something happen. Uh, the Lions are going to put together a drive here that goes 10 plays. We're going to turn it over in a minute on fourth down. But right now, the Lions down by Wait. seven, not giving up. Play Great drive going right there. Knowing we got to go down and score, keep that drive going. We don't have breakaway threats, but we have a lot of powerful running. Ivy making the great run there. He'll come back. Pass another short pass to Cameron Wade on the slip screen. He picks up about five, six yards, keeping the thrive going. Now you'll see Robbie Burdine on the exact same play, three, up three or four more plays. Now we've got to get the first down right here. We come back, pick up five right there, fourth and one. We've got to have the fourth and one. We come back, and they hit us for a loss right here. Missed a block. They hit us for a loss. And, boy, I'm telling you, if you, if you don't have a lot of heart, you're going to give up. If you don't have a lot of hearts, you're going to give up. We come right back defensively. Cedric Hall makes the big stop. Their backup quarterback is in. And now that shallow cross, that drag, we're ready for it now. As we hit them for no gain. Everybody on that one. Here we are. Block the punt. Tristan Purifoy blocks the punt. And Robbie Burdine in the right place at the right time. Does the right thing. Get in the end zone. All of a sudden, momentum was their way. All of a sudden, we blocked the punt. We hit the extra point. 23-23. With eight minutes left, we'll get one more drive with about four minutes left. And the Lions here going on the move, starting in our own territory. And Lee Chapel is going to go six of six in this drive over the middle. We pick up a pass interference. The rest of them, though, will be complete, headed towards the end zone. That's right. There's the good run now that we got that tree flicker. Smith, great run right there by Holland for seven. We'll come back, throw a pass to Jason Smith for six-yard line, six. Then we'll come back right there. Nice run up the middle. 
Gave us a great job down there. Now we got to find one more completion. Jason Smith on the outside gets the ball to the 19-yard line. When they bring him down, then we fake the run to the right. We slip the fullback out in the zat. They did not pick up the neck and bootleg. But he takes it in. West Holland for the score. 18 yards, touchdown, and we go ahead. we got to hold on this final drive, but that's what got us the victory right Lee there. Lee Chapel with a defender in his face. Connects and West Holland has a great day running the football. His only catch, that last one, and it goes about 16 yards on a second down and 11, and the Lions win it 30-23. to 23. Well, when you run that naked boot, you know, the defensive ends are blitzing the quarterback. If he blitzes the quarterback, he doesn't cover the fullback that slips out in the flat. We, we hit it perfectly, go for the score. And then the defense intercepts the ball on the one-yard line to finish it up. So we finish the game up with a great victory on the road. It's our third victory in a row at Valdosta. That seems to be a good place for us. But most importantly, it puts us in a position uh, to head down playoffs and go from there with the second season of the year. There were a lot of big plays in this one. The Lions, you could count them on two hands in this one, but we have to pick one. Coming up is our play of the game plus our player of the game. We'll get to that. The Lions win it 30-23 to over Valdosta State. The Terry Bowden Show continues right after this. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by TVA Credit Union, a better way. E.A. Nelson Company, and by Southern Fastening. You know, I may be new to the Shoals area, but TBA Credit Union has been serving this community for over 70 years. With seven branches full of financial experts offering personal service, TBA Credit Union offers low rates for mortgages, auto and personal loans, as well as higher rates on savings and CDs. TBA Credit Union is member owned and operated and now open to the community. Give TVA a call today at 386-3000 or stop it and tell them Coach Bowden sent you. TVA Credit Union, a better way. Hey, this is Terry Bowden. If you're looking for top quality equipment to maintain your property, then look no further than EA Nelson Company right here in Florence. They represent the top-notch players in the lawn and garden industry, such as Walker Mowers, Bad Boy Mowers, Massey Ferguson Tractors, Woods, and Bush Hog Implements. EA Nelson is a one-stop, full-service dealer providing sales, service, and replacement parts. Whether it's landscaping, cutting a pasture, manicuring a lawn, or preparing a greenfield, EA Nelson has the equipment for you. Come to EA Nelson Company to see what top-notch equipment is all about. They're located at 1011 Mitchell Boulevard next to the O'Neill Bridge in Florence. First, there was hammer and nail, then air-powered pneumatics, followed by cordless tools, both gas and battery powered. Now, from Senco, the leader in the power fastening industry, there is Fusion Technology. Power fastening with no gas, no hose, no competition. Senco's Fusion Technology creates the first true cordless pneumatic nailers. Five distribution centers in the southeast as a Southern Fastening Systems representative nearby to serve you. Southern Fastening Systems and Senco Brands, a team that can't be beat. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by TBA Credit Union, a better way, EA Nelson Company, and by Southern Fastening. Welcome back. 30-23, to 23, the Lions over the Blazers to end the regular season. We approved to 8-2. Uh, special teams coaching this win, 30-23. to 23. We scored 14 unanswered in the fourth to pull this one out, but special teams were big for both teams. We blocked an uh, extra point, returned it. So close to getting a blocked punt, finally we get through and get one. That's right. Nine points came off our specialty teams, two points after a conversion and that punt block for the touchdown. Again, you can't discount all the field position we get from kicking away from our return people, getting pressure on their people, and great coverage. Also, no penalties on those kickoff returns and punt returns. Very important that we don't have penalties that put us back in the hole. So, overall, I was so pleased with our special teams in spite of the fact that we did give up that big, long kickoff return for a touchdown. We'd made up for that. That brings us to our CBNS Bank. Take it to the bank play of the game, and it is indeed that punt block. Tristan Purifoy breaks through. Robbie Burdine good heads up, and Tristan Purifoy blocks the punter. He knows that a teammate's coming to help. Well, that's the only guy that can make the tackle. Now Robbie Burdine gets taken in for the score. So good of Robbie Burdine, who does everything he can to help this football team. Some catches for him. But the play of the game, definitely that punt, because they were controlling the ball. Offensively, we were making about 40, 50 yards to have to punt. That play just changed everything right now because now they had to play aggressively on offense and take chances as opposed to just running that clock out. Two North Alabama local guys hooking up there. Purifoy from Hansville on the blocks. Uh, Robbie Burdine, the senior who went to Shoals Christian in Florence, returns it 22 yards for the score. And at that point, we are tied 23-23. The Lions win it by 7, 30-23. Our player of the game on the Terry Bowden Show right when we come back. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by Layton Sheffield and Russellville Pharmacies. And now, Logan Pharmacy at Molden, Woody Anderson Ford, Little Steve's, and by Hometown Market. 
These days there's still a need for genuine personal relationships, especially when it comes to your pharmacy. Sheffield, Leeton, and Russell pharmacies are still locally owned and independent, the way you like it. From the time you walk through the front door, you just feel that family atmosphere. Plus, they provide fast, easy, and extra-friendly service every time. Rodney Logan and his staff have everything you need when you need it, and they also specialize in topical compounding medication, mixed on site. Sheffield, Leeton, and Russell Pharmacies. Great customer service at all three locations. Hey, this is Bobby White with Woody Anderson Ford. Check out our team's lineup anytime at WoodyAndersonFord.com. There's the quick to the outside Ford Mustang or the tough all-purpose power of F-150. For the passing game, we've got the all-new Ford Fiesta, passing the pumps at up to 41 miles per gallon. And everybody's all-American, the award-winning Ford Fusions. We're proud supporters of UNA football. Come see us at Woody Anderson Ford. More for less, period. Lion Pride is a tradition here in the Shoals, and especially a Little Steve's. Our second generation family-owned business has four locations in Florence and Muscle Shoals to serve you. We support UNA because UNA supports us. You'll never know who you'll find shopping at Little Steve's, and you'll never know who can help you out. Little Steve's, where UNA shops. Hey Terry, this is a heck of a place to shop. You're dead gum right about that. We invite you to shop with us at Hometown Market, conveniently located at 1421 Northwood Avenue, Florence, Alabama, in the Seven Point Shopping Center. Hometown Market can supply all your grocery needs with its large selection of groceries, fresh fruits and vegetables at our everyday low prices. Our meat market offers a wide variety of fresh meats cut daily by our qualified meat cutters. Look for our other Hometown Market locations in Athens, Hartzell, and Aniana. We truly appreciate your business and invite you to make us your Hometown Market. That's Hometown Market, 1421 Northwood Avenue, Seven Point Shopping Center, Florence. The Terry Bowden Show, brought to you by Layton Sheffield and Russellville Pharmacies, and now Logan Pharmacy at Moulton, Woody Anderson Ford, Little Steve's, and by Hometown Market. Welcome back to the Terry Bowden Show. 30-23, to 23, the Lions win over Valdosta State to close the regular season. Time now for our Montagues and Frostbite player of the game. It's the linebacker, Marcus Dowden. Uh, he's been our leading tackler the entire year, but this game he had a great job. Ten tackles, eight solo, two sacks. He forced a fumble. We didn't recover it. And maybe this hit here, biggest of all, you don't want anybody to get hurt in the game, but that quarterback was not feeling well enough to come back in the game. Uh, and what factor was that? But Dowden, what a great game from the beginning to end. He was our player of the game. The quarterback, Caden Cochran, goes out with about 13 minutes to go. Right. So we, we're fine with him being better 13 minutes later. That's after right. that great lick by Marcus Stoughton. The Lions win it 30-23. to 23. Player of the game, Marcus Stoughton, presented by Montagues and Frostbite. We're taping the show here. We're going to find out what happens in the NCAA playoff pairings. Go to RoarLions.com for more information. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching The Terry Bowden Show. Please join us again next Sunday night at 8.30.